What is good guys, I hope everyone is doing well. If you are looking for an RTX gaming laptop that isn't going to completely blow the bank, then say hello to the MSI GF65 Fin. So the model that I have here is the 2020 base model. Of course, it looks exactly identical to last year's. You probably couldn't even tell them apart but all the upgrades are of course on the inside so let's go ahead and have a closer look. So as I did say this is the base model and it costs under £1,000 here in the UK or $1,000 if you live in the US and it arrives with a full RTX 2060 on board. Not the Max Q variant, you are getting the full RTX experience here so that is a massive bonus. So this is paired with the i7-9750H. 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, so for the price you are getting some solid specs, albeit a very low capacity of storage, but we will get into that shortly. So looks wise, MSI have stuck with the black and red theme that we have seen many times before, but they have added some premium touches with a brushed metal looking plastic, but one downside to all that plastic is the fingerprints, so honestly you're forever cleaning this. If you do not carry a cloth and some cleaning equipment, people will think you are some grubby kid who's just had their favourite snack and put their paws all over this. I mean, you can already see some fingerprints here if I can catch it in the light. It gets dirty super easy, so you will definitely want to carry a cleaning cloth with you. Being plastic, there is some flex on the deck and the screen as you would expect, and obviously at this price you aren't getting a super thin or light 15.6 inch gaming laptop, but it isn't crazy heavy at 1.86 kilograms either, so throwing this in a bag really won't be any trouble, albeit the power pack is nearly another 1 kilogram on top of that, so just bear that in mind. In terms of ports, we have a good range here with a headphone jack, two USB 3.0 ports, two USB-C ports and your Ethernet port on the left. Just bear in mind that these USB-C ports do not support Thunderbolt 3, so if you are looking for that, you will have to look elsewhere. If we take a look at the right hand side, you will find your HDMI out and of course your power. Just a small note, like I say with every gaming laptop, I would definitely prefer if they moved some of these ports to the rear. It just makes cable management a lot easier, especially if you're using a wired mouse and a wired gaming headset etc. It really gets annoying when everything is just lying in the one area and it just gets all tangled and becomes an absolute spaghetti junction, so just a thought for next time. So the keyboard as you can see is black and red and you can either have the red LEDs on or off so there is no RGB to be found here. The keyboard is well spaced out and I had no trouble gaming on this at all with the keys having a decent amount of travel. The touchpad as expected works well, although the clicks I would have to say are a little lacklustre, they feel a little spongy and definitely didn't do anything for me but honestly I hardly use the touchpad, the first thing I would do with a gaming laptop is connect my gaming mouse obviously so it's hardly an issue for me. So let's move on to the display. Apart from the chunky top and bottom bezels, this 1080p 120Hz display is perfect for gaming at this level. That 120Hz refresh rate makes gaming super smooth and honestly from a gaming perspective I have little complaints. I will say that it isn't the brightest display at 280 nits and colour accuracy isn't really a strong point either so creatives should definitely look elsewhere but if you're buying this purely for gaming, browsing the internet, all that kind of stuff then you really won't have any issues. The only issues you will run into is if you're looking to do Photoshop and all that kind of stuff. So where you will have issues though is that 256 gigabytes of storage on the base model. I mean Call of Duty on its own is 180 gigabytes so as you can imagine once you go ahead and download that, getting anything else on here is going to be a struggle. So if you play a good few games, then I would definitely go ahead and upgrade this. And thankfully MSI have made this easy. There's just a few screws to remove the bottom and as you can see there is a spare M.2 slot. And to get another drive you are looking at around 60 to 80 pounds. So it's definitely not going to blow the bank and it's probably the first thing I would do if I went for the base model. Okay so most importantly let's talk about gaming performance. So for all the tests I ran all the games at 1080p max settings and really the only game that had trouble achieving over 60fps was Battlefield 5 and the rest managed over 60 without any trouble at all. Obviously if you go ahead and 
pull the settings down etc like most of us would do anyway while playing FPS games, you will get a nice higher FPS so it's definitely not an issue and gaming performance is pretty solid on this. So like most gaming laptops that we have seen lately, the fans do get pretty loud while gaming but if you're wearing a gaming headset it really shouldn't be an issue but just wanted to warn you. If you're someone who doesn't like to wear gaming headsets then the quality of the onboard speakers isn't too terrible at all. Honestly they're not going to blow you away but watching YouTube etc really wasn't an issue for me. The question that I often get asked when reviewing gaming laptops is does it thermal throttle? So first of all let me just show you the temperatures that you will see on the deck etc. As you can see it does get pretty warm but it doesn't really get uncomfortable while gaming. I never really found myself having to take my hand off etc or my palms etc getting sweaty so that really wasn't an issue but as you can see if you go ahead and stress that CPU out then it definitely does dial that turbo boost back. When it comes to the GPU though, I had zero issues with throttling so that's always a bonus. So should you go ahead and buy this? Honestly, for the base model price point, I feel that this is an absolutely solid deal, especially with the RTX 2060 on board. So I would have no trouble recommending this. That is of course, if you plan on upgrading the memory because 256 gigabytes of storage is really not going to get you far. But if you plan to do that, then I would definitely go ahead and pick this up. You will not be disappointed. So let me know what you think about the laptop down below in the comments section. If you have any other questions that I haven't covered, let me know. I will definitely get back to you. So we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. By the time this video goes up, I'm sure we will be under probably 550, let's say for talking sake. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I have a pretty awesome giveaway planned for when we actually do reach that. So definitely stay tuned for that. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.